It's uh, uh, Rowan Dewey, and uh, good morning. Um, I'm Rowan, and I'm about to go to the food pantry that's up around the corner from my apartment. Uh, I'm going to leave my phone here. Hopefully nothing ill comes of <laughs> this. Um, you know, hopefully there's no phone emergency, you know, like around the corner and back. Uh, you know, or emergency wherein having my phone might help because my phone is at 10% uh, charge, or at least it was uh, less than a minute ago. Uh, I really need a new cord for the charger because, um, yeah, apparently it was draining charge all this morning for some reason, and ah, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave my phone to charge while I'm out. And I'm going to come back and show off groceries from uh, St. John the Baptist. And then I'm going to go back out and I have, a, um, I have a couple of things I need to get at the store. But yeah, like when I'm unboxing the, uh, the food pantry groceries, I'm going to show that off for the camera. And you weird people who somehow really get a kick out of watching all this. All right, see you in a bit. I'm back, and my phone seems to have taken negative charge since I stepped out, so... Uh, I, I have... I, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna try a new cord. I'm also going to try a different charger after I get back from the crap I gotta do out, which is going to be Target. Oh, I'm going to be out at Target because I've got a lot of bottle returns. Again, if, as I've said, I think at least one other time before. If you're not from Michigan, we, uh, I'm sure you might have seen uh, soda bottles and soda um, cans. Uh, that will say Michigan 10 cent. This is a deposit thing. Um, a lot of people, uh, even people who were born and raised in Michigan, like, if they're waiting for the bus and they finish it up, most of the time they'll decide, eh, it's not worth putting in my backpack or whatever to get the dime later. Uh, I am very grateful for those people because uh, on an average week, I pick up about two, maybe three dollars um, just from random bottles I find lying around the uh, thing. So let's see, what does this donut have in it? Uh, Plum Market Calypso Coconut Lime Donut. This sounds... Uh, okay, we've got sunflower lecithin. Bring the sugar. Um, oh wow, I can have this. <gasps> I can have fancy donut! Yay! Ah, oh, gosh. Yeah, so um... So yeah, for some reason, there was, like, barely anybody there. I even arrived later than I usually like to. Um, my guess is because um, it's usually on Thursdays, there were not enough people who realized that uh, because tomorrow's Thanksgiving, they were going to be doing it on Wednesday this week. So, yeah, um, I'm going to make a post to um, the Epsilanti Reddit the Ypsilanti um, area discussion Facebook group, and also on the um, Our Assistance subreddit, uh, just letting people know that at least for the next couple of hours, because they will stay open there and um, distributing food to people for as long as they have bags. So I'm going to make sure people know about that. So, because, you know, like, um, can't really shouldn't let it go to waste. I don't know how, like, I, I'm sure the breads will not last very long. The produce, definitely not. Um, so yeah, on the uh, back table, I found um, sugar-free um, jello vanilla pudding. Uh, I can do all sorts of things with that. I also found a prayer, I also picked up a prayer guard for St. Peregrine for no especial reason. Um, and I also found this metal um, for uh, Our Lady of Fatima, so um, I might do something art-like with that. Uh, and I've got a... Whoa, that popped open on me. Please don't go stale on me. Uh, so let's see, what is... 
can I have please let me have the croissants I love little croissants we've got all butter cocktail croissants okay I don't know what's cocktail about them uh, oh my god why is there soy in this uh, how is there soy in this let me check okay contains milk eggs wheat and soy so let's see if it's just soybean oil I might Okay, soy and or canola oil. So, um, about the soy intolerance, um, it's specifically related to, um, it's a specifically associated with soy lecithin, which is uh, protein. Um, but the way that soybean oil tends to be refined usually leaves it devoid of that protein. Usually. Um, but, um, but um, but um, but um, but yeah, like um, cheap, cheaper um, soybean oils, you know, which would be used in cheaper food products. They'd be, be all like, you know, you don't want to chance it um, because it's croissants and they're not going to last very long, especially nice, buttery, flaky croissants. I'm, I'll try like one or two and see how my, you know, see if I get to enjoy some indigestion afterward and even if I do, it might be worth it, because, you know, based on the flavors. So, let's see. And we've got this focaccia bread with roasted tomatoes and parmesan on it. And it looks like I can have this. Oh, my gosh. And that looks so good, too. So, oh, 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 please, please get out. Okay. And so then I got this big thing. Home Chef Meal Kits, strip, steak strip and broccoli lo mein with teriyaki sauce. God damn it. Okay, so the sauce is probably separate out of this. And I will definitely unpack this later because I know just off... Like, I don't I didn't even know what... I just flipped it to the back as a matter of habit. Because uh, teriyaki that's like made with soy sauce, and hopefully the um, okay. So it looks like we've got the rice noodles there. So yeah, the uh, the sauce should be separate. It should be in its own little um, container, or at least if they were smart, that's what they would do with it. So we got this big. Oh no! Like, wait. What is this? Okay, so the meat is marinated in something. Sliced beef. Oh, wait, no. I think that's just beef juices. Also known as blood. Okay, so here's the thing with the teriyaki sauce. So, safe handling instructions. Sliced beef. Previously handled refreeze or keep refrigerated. Um, I wish it would tell me if this is just beef. I mean, it looks like it is. It looks like it is, so I'll just ditch the teriyaki sauce and um, so, you know, since this is already out, I think this is just going to be dinner tonight. So, you know, and so I've discovered that so I've got this, um, I haven't opened it yet, but it's uh, coconut aminos. I got this a while back. I don't know why I put it on the stove and just kind of left it there, but it is recommended as a substitute for soy sauce. Um, I've also seen people recommend like um, watering down um, Worcestershire with um, like something like three tables, like tablespoon of Worcestershire plus three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of white vinegar. I've seen people recommend doing that to substitute, you know, for uh, soy sauce. And so amongst the meats that was given out today, and this is like a huge reason why I'm going to like let people know about the um, food distro, because we also were given out um, price per pound, and we've got 9.39 pounds, so 
about a nine pound turkey, maybe a little less after we, you know, discount the bones. So, ah, uh, and of course, because there's no room in my fridge or my freezer for it, and I still don't have a chest freezer in my kitchen, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, thaw this out in a sink of water and cook it tomorrow. And hopefully, um, I will get, like, I mean, there's no reason for me not to, right? I don't, I'm not going out to, I'm not getting a ride to, uh, to come see to see my sister or my niece. And... I'm not getting a ride to Livonia to spend Thanksgiving with my aunt, so might as well just, like, I don't know. There's no reason for me not to just cook it up, and okay, we've got um, fresh chicken drumsticks, and it says fresh, but they're frozen, so that is contradictory. And we've got more fresh frozen chicken drumsticks, and yet more fresh frozen chicken drumsticks. All right. A lot of things I can put in the pressure cooker and all of that. Uh, I'm going to play Freezer Tetris with this in a minute before I go back out. Hi, Kitty. I think that, yep, that was Nigel. And we've got a whole lot of produce here. So, let's see. We've got, um, we've got a bunch of apples, some potatoes, pretty big potatoes, some carrots. Oh my gosh, I've got a package of mushrooms. And a big thing of salad mix. It looks like it might just be spinach in a bag. And I like spinach. I've got a whole lot of apples and a yam. I've got a whole lot of apples, so I'm hoping to stream tomorrow. I think I'll stream while I'm cooking up the turkey. And I'm also going to make some apple chips. Just some fresh, like, oven crisp apple chips. Why? Because why not? I've got a shit ton of apples and... Earlier this week, I found, like, just sitting on top of the, you know, like, while I was bin picking for, um, bottle returns. Oh, we've got a bunch of loose cloves of garlic. Um, that's something I can cook, you know, like, oh my gosh, I, oh my gosh, this should be a good amount of cloves to stick in the skin of that turkey while I'm streaming tomorrow. Okay, okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing with all of this. None of it will go to waste. But yeah, I found like a dozen apples, just perfectly good, fine apples, just sitting on top of the bin that somebody just put there, and I don't know why. So let's see, we've got a gourmet stuffing mix. Can I have it? Of course not. That, uh, oh yeah, hydrolyzed soy protein. That it really stood right out at me, so I'm gonna, I don't know, like, find something to give that to. And yes, I can have this hamburger helper. And in here we've got, ugh. these are not great olives. These are not great olives, but They'll do in a pinch, and, you know, it's just like a little snack to carry with me. Oh, we've got two and three of these. Might have more. Who knows? Ooh, I've got pecans. I can make more coconut pecan frosting with that. And another ramen brick that I cannot has because I don't remember if it's just in the little salt packet to flavor it with, or if it's also in the noodles. So, let's see, and we've got yellow split peas. I can make soup. And probably other things. And we've got two ramen bricks I can't have. And there's last month's ramen bricks still there. And as I've said many times before, I have plenty enough peanut butter to last me the rest of my natural life due to this place. We've got dried pitted plums, also known as prunes. <coughs> so, I've got a few, I, I was just, like, looking through stuff, um, a couple days ago, like, thinking of things I can do with everything that's here. I can definitely make a lot of baked goods. We've got Mueller's spaghetti, and I should be able to have this, yes. 
and corn muffin mix. I am, I cannot have this, of course not. Yep, soy lecithin, right there on the package thing. Star Kiss Chunk Light Tuna in Water, and yep, soy free. Yeah, it's got the little symbol on it and everything. Oh, you have no idea how much this excites me, and there's like, there was a can of Chicken of the Sea Tuna on the back table, and I left that because it has soy in it. And I left, like, pretty much that packet of Jello pudding mix was the only thing there that I could have. Uh, Meyer Fresh Stew... Uh, sliced Stewed Tomatoes. Okay, at least they don't say for it. Uh, farm to can within 24 hours fresh seal. Okay, that's where I saw fresh on this. Just stewed tomatoes. Can do a few things with that. Big ass can of condensed tomato soup. And I can have this. All right. And we've got whole kernel corn and turkey gravy. Can I have it? You'd be surprised, like how little I can have, like how few things I can have due to soy content, especially anything that comes in a can. And let's see. Turkey stock, wheat flour, contains less than 2% of modified food, starch, chicken fat, salt, yeast, extract. How do you extract yeast? Like, they're just so, they're, they're tiny little granules of things, you know, there's... But okay, onion powder, spice extract, okay, lactic acid, caramel color, natural flavor, contains wheat. Sometimes on cheap things, like modified food starch can be soy derived. I think I'm going to chance it with this. I mean, I know it's, you know, like an off brand sort of thing. Um, American Beauty, don't know where this is from. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about like, if it's associated with like Spartan or whatever. But, you know, I think I'll chance it. At the very least, um, I don't know, like, I know traditionally poutine is made with uh, duck gravy. Um, a lot of a lot of places that sell it will like you know like use beef gravy or whatever that you know like whatever they have. Um, but yeah, like at the very least, I can try like ooh yeah with some bits of um, just like shredded turkey amongst it. Ah, uh, let's see what kind of cheese would go. You know, I'd want to. I'd want a milder cheese with that. Nothing that would be overpowering. But I'd also want to use seasoned fries. Ooh. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know why I think up these, you know, like, elaborate poutine variations in my head. So, you see, we've got peaches with water and sugar. Plain peach in extra light syrup. Which is better than a heavy syrup. I prefer my canned fruit in juice, but whatever. Uh, cut green beans should be safe. It's the Del Monte. I'm familiar enough. Um, royal unsweetened applesauce, which I've got a few cans of and I should do things with. And low sodium traditional pasta sauce. And last but certainly not least, the big ass box of name branded Cheerios. And Cheerios give me gas, but that's okay, because I enjoy them. And it's okay to be gassy if you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so that's about it for this month. My next um, available day will be um, basically Boxing Day, like the 26th of December, because... That's just, like, four weeks from now, right? And time to take my meds and then go back out and figure out what the, you know, like, what the hell is up with my phone? Like, why is it not wanting to charge? Because if I have to get a new phone, I can't do that until the third. If I have to get a new phone, I cannot do that until the third. Which would be a huge pain in the ass. That would mean I'm basically stuck here at home. 
like, uh, maybe not, like, like, stuck here, stuck here, like, the whole, you know, time, but it would be, like, I, I, I would barely be able to get out of here and then back, right? I, uh, I don't know. So yeah, this is lunch because I'm an adult and my mother can't tell me that donuts aren't lunch. If they can be breakfast, they can be lunch. So that's about it. And fairly quick uh, food pantry um, vloggy type thing this month because, like I said, it was a, I don't know, like all, all things considered, this was arguably a smaller um, thing. It's usually like much bigger in December and January uh, because that's when people feel like donating to these sorts of things. So, uh, so yeah, then what happened? So, um, but yeah, like there's a good amount of stuff. Um, as I tend to do, um, take care of yourselves. Be sure to wear your sunscreen. It definitely helps uh, with your with your wonderful vampire skin and use it like no matter what your skin tone is because you are at risk of <laughs> skin cancer if you don't, right? Um, remember, uh, reduced, um, um, UV exposure from increased melanin does not mean, um, zero UV exposure from extra melanin. So as... I tend to also include, uh, you've got your little thumb icons in the lower left. I, I, I'm not, I think it's this way, unless this is, I don't know, like, but yeah, like, lower left of the whole screen here, go, um, hit a thumb icon to note whether you enjoyed this or not. Um, it doesn't affect my, um, I get the same, you know, sort of, like, interaction kind of info either way. Uh, if you have not yet, feel free to hit the subscribe box and the little bell notification. Your phone might scream at you every once in a while when I feel bothered to upload something, uh, because I don't have much, um, that can pass as a schedule on all of this. And, as always, if you have more dollars than cents, I have a PayPal tip jar in the description box, as well as a Patreon, and that's basically, like, subscribing to my music as I record it, and you are welcome to go and do that. And that's about all I've got right now. Bats and kisses, and once again, please do take care of yourselves, and... Uh, I care about you all, and goodbye!